Welcome back, everybody, to the Little Less Fear podcast. I'm your host, Lino Martinez, and happy December, everybody. December 2021. Wow, it's the last month of the year. So much to reflect on, so much to look forward to, and the most awesome thing that I have to tell all of you, all of my listeners, all my supporters, is I'm reaching my one-year podcasting. Yay! Everybody applaud, yeah! I'm reaching my first year doing podcasting. I can't believe it. It's um, close to my 60 episode, I believe. I will give you the right number my next podcast because I'm going to start numbering everything. And I'm going to be making some changes, which I'm really looking forward to as well. The changes occurred because I have gave myself an intermission week. And during the intermission week, I gave myself a list of things that I've learned this year, podcasting, um, and also how I've grown, things that I can do to improve myself and to improve the quality of the information that I'm giving to everybody. Um, again, I couldn't have gone this far without all of your support. So thank you so much for all of this. And um, what I mean by all of this is all of your love and support. Thank you so much. Anyways, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. As everybody knows, Christmas is around the corner. And I'm really happy to finally see the weather changing. And that's actually making me feel a little more excited for Christmas. Like, oh yeah, let's get my shopping done. Online shopping, everybody. That's for me at least. Anyways, how's everybody doing? Did people start? Did people already start their holiday shopping? Or am I just a speed racer here? Because I'm almost done. And I like to get things done about a couple of weeks before Christmas. Just to make sure that I don't miss anybody. And that I have something extra in case I did miss somebody. But uh, yeah, today was a really great shift in weather here in California, at least, where it's really feeling like Christmas now. And we're going to be seeing a cooling trend this week in California, uh, anywhere between the 70s, 50s during the week and the low 60s um, by the end of the week, which is a really nice, nice change here. Uh, around the world, Jesus, look at the weather. What's going on globally? We look at uh, Beijing right now. It's currently 30 degrees in Berlin, 31 degrees. And, and this is in Fahrenheit too, ladies and gentlemen, and people in between. It is um, in Fahrenheit. Buenos Aires, 70 degrees Fahrenheit in Cairo, 60. Cape Town, 57. Hong Kong, 62. Istanbul, 55. London, 38. Los Angeles. Yeah, my hometown. <laughs> Los Angeles, high, 63 degrees. Madrid, 46 degrees. Ooh, that's a little chilly. Mexico City at 72 degrees. Feeling pretty good right now over there. Moscow, 26 degrees. Put on that coat. Mumbai, 77 degrees. New York, 57 degrees. Uh, Paris, 43. And uh, Sao Paulo, 66 degrees Fahrenheit. So, yeah. You know, what's crazy, too, is I was reading on the news. Um, one of my buddies sent me this article that... I guess Colorado is not going to be having any snow this year in like over 100 years or something like that, 1888, or I may be mistaken with the date, but I know it was the 1800s, the last time they went without snow, and that is pretty intense because of global warming. And as a lot of people um, are aware, I hope you're aware that global warnings, warming is affecting everybody, not just everybody, people, but also animals and penguins and, and polar bears. And it's just, um, it's a disaster. So please do your part. That's all I got to say. Do your part. Get, get recycled paper, um, you know, bamboo paper instead of regular toilet paper. That's a shit that I did that I'm really, I guess you could say I'm really proud of myself for making that change. It's like I never really thought about it. I was wiping my... Yeah, with the same toilet paper over and over, over and over. Can you imagine how many trees and how many animals and stuff have died because of that? Because of my, you know? Anyways, what I'm trying to say, what I want to say is please recycle and put everything in the right bin. Keep things clean. Um, just do whatever you can. Get an electric vehicle if you can afford it. Um, solar power stuff. I mean, there's so much we can do to help with the global emissions, with the craziness going on over there. So do your part. It feels great. And um, you dedicate it to a lot of people. And... You help the world, the world will help you. Yes. So next, oh my goodness. Yes, the eclipse. Who felt the eclipse, right? That eclipse was crazy. There was so much turmoil I was feeling that week. Um, turmoil because I just had so much to do and still have so much to do. But I also felt when I was in my own quiet zone, my meditative zone, that there was something else going on. And it had to do with the shifting of the planets or something. Because I, I tend to feel and be very grounded I'm a double goat sign. Yes, thank you very much. This goat right here feels a lot of things going on. And uh, the eclipse, um, so I researched it. I had to. You know, what's going on with the eclipse? Why do I feel like this? And why are a lot of people around me feeling the same way? 
and I learned that whenever there's a solar eclipse, um, basically it catapults you towards fresh new beginnings. So wherever there's been some kind of entanglement or um, some disagreements or some confusion in your head or some stuff that's been puzzling you, things will unravel and untangle. And whether things are turn out to be beautiful at the end or or ends up ending ugly or or ends up ending abruptly, however things end, there's also a fresh new start right right immediately after that end. And so the beautiful thing about that is that eclipses push us towards rapid change. And um, solar eclipses, that is, they, they, they push us towards a rapid change. And I definitely see and feel that rapid change going on right here, right now, as we speak. And it's just a wonderful thing that, to be able to connect with, with our planet and, and um, ground ourselves. Like whenever you, you have a trouble grounding yourself, envision your body being having like a uh, close your eyes, you know, do your whatever you call your meditative state, whether you're sitting with your legs crossed or Indian style pose, however, or I'm sorry if that's um, not the right word to use, but with your legs crossed and start thinking about uh, what grounds you, what makes you feel centered to the earth. And if, if you still can't think of anything, try imagining yourself being corded down to the earth, like down your spinal cord, there's like an, like an anchor, like a cord in it, and it's holding you down to the core of the earth. If you can envision that and just stay there grounded with the earth on then imagine yourself sitting on on paved dirt you know or green grass or whatever and just just sit there and just think you know wow okay i'm grounded with the earth right now i mean that that simple feeling right there is a type of meditation it is meditation and you're also connecting with the planet and if you do this often you will find yourself um feeling when the earth is in turmoil or you'll know whenever there's an earthquake coming or something, you'll, you'll be becoming um, more intuitive towards things. It's really amazing. And um, yeah, try it, try it, try it. So I was thinking after having <laughs> one week off of intermission week, welcome back everybody. I miss you all. I was thinking, um, geez, you know, there's been so much going on with my health, uh, with my book, uh, by the way, um, I will give you more details about my book at the end of this. Um, good, good news, good news. Just uh, stay tuned, stay tuned to the end. Stay tuned to the end. And one thing I was thinking <clears throat> as I was listening to other podcasts and just a lot of things going on in my mind after I work out, I, I usually go for a walk down the neighborhood. And I heard somewhere, I can't remember where, but I wrote it down and I can't, and I wish I could quote the person that said it, but they said nothing is destroyed, only transferred. I'm sorry, not transferred, transformed. Like transformers, nothing is destroyed, only transformed. And I thought, wow, that is uh, very, very, very enlightening and uplifting to hear that because it's true for me. And if it's true for me, it's probably true for a lot of people, which means it's true for everybody, right? Or at least most people. If you really think about it, um, things don't get destroyed. They, the energy just turns into something else. And you could turn energy into anything else, whether it's a positive thought or a negative thought whether it's your body, whether it's the way you're eating, whether it's a former self that you're shedding or looking or, or even a, a business idea that you have or whatever, whatever you have in mind and whether and whenever it's gone, it's just really important to not say it's gone forever or that that image right there is destroyed or you destroyed me. You know, these things don't get destroyed. They only get transformed. So basically that energy that you put into that gets changed into something else. And um, it's, <laughs> it's just so awesome thinking this. It really takes a lot of stress off my mind because it's like, geez, you know, battling with the stuff that I battle with, my genetic disease, and, and at the same time injecting myself with immunosuppressant medication, sometimes it gets a little heavy, you know, to do this stuff every day. And, and sometimes I see that there's very little change physically when I work out, but it's those tiny little changes that you have to give yourself credit for because you have to really think that what you did is you transformed some stuff, right? You just changed it. And you're still continuing who you are as far as if you're if you feel you're on the right track. And if you don't, I'm I'm gonna tell you something about how to know how to, whether or not you're on the right track. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is if you have problems or difficulties or however you want to say a um, bad time, hard time letting go of something because you're afraid it's gonna be destroyed, it's never destroyed. It's just transformed. So remember that isn't that amazing so awesome yay all right so um <laughs> another thing i wanted to, i wanted to bring up uh, aside from things being transformed is uh, now that i have a new as far as like a new 
rapid change going on in my life and uh, what I'm talking about the rapid changes I see this with my myself physically I'm, I'm aligned I'm aligned with the world I'm aligned with my goals my body speech and mind align and that's how I know that I have to continue in this exact path that I'm on right now because I feel good and when I feel good just like I do right now that also means that I feel whole me personally at the moment I feel whole I, I don't feel like I'm in lack of anything because whenever you don't feel whole you're in I guess in a way also saying that you're in lack when you don't feel whole and right now I feel like I have everything I need I've got air in my lungs I've got um a fitted blazer I've got my cat right right here right next to me Felix for president everybody Felix the cat and I've got this awesome new microphone that matches my shirt I mean geez other than that um I'm here for everybody and I'm here to make sure that I keep opening eyes and and welcoming ears and welcoming new readers and listeners and watchers and viewers and and keep educating people especially if you keep sending me messages about what you want to hear more of I'll give you more of what you what what you want more of because that's what I'm here for and I'm really grateful that I get to do this um not that many people get to say that and I and I can say it with a smile say it with a smile because if you say it with a smile <laughs> it's always gonna feel good that's the motto if you say it with a smile it's gonna feel good right maybe not always but don't psych yourself out either be true to yourself and make sure that when you're feeling whole you go you, you keep going whatever you're doing whatever you're doing at that moment that's making you feel whole like you don't have any lack of anything keep that going and whenever you feel there's a some kind of turbulence that means it's time to change it's time to change something and once you change remember that nothing is destroyed completely only transformed please stay tuned i'm going to be changing my interview format uh, for fun every year i'm going to be changing it up and uh, that's just how we do it everybody welcome to the last month of 2021 i love you all very much a little less for your podcast lino martinez love you very much Oh yeah, wait a minute, how can I end without even telling you about my book? Oh my goodness, sometimes I get nervous, okay? And I know this is all because I've got so much to do and this is why I'm here sharing with you. I am really excited about my book, of course, of course. I put more time in it than, than I thought I would. I wrote the book and when I wrote the book, I wrote it within six months. And uh, that was actually almost two years ago. So much has happened within those two years as you can all imagine how much has happened within those two years like this pandemic, right? And when I finished my book was right at the beginning of the pandemic. So it was everything from the time I was born to right at the beginning of the pandemic. And um, my book is here to motivate people, people that are struggling, and just to know that nobody struggles alone. We all struggle together and that's how we need to stick together so we can keep navigating together and building together. Thank you so much. My book will be out hopefully, and I say hopefully because I'm taking my time to make sure I edit everything right and that everything looks and, and, and sounds and feels right. And uh, yeah, I'll be giving away some free books too coming up soon. I'll give you more details on that. Thank you so much, everybody. A little less for your podcast. Lino Martinez right here, your host for the show. Have a good week. Love you all very much.